So, so many people live in this very, very little way. You know, if, if we could all live like we're in heaven, well, we don't. We live here on planet Earth. This is a great place. I'm having a good time. Okay, there's a lot of work to do here. 2022 was the toughest year for investors. Stocks entered a bear market, bonds got hit hard, and even crypto plunged. But the worst is in the pipeline, according to Rich Dad Poor Dad author Robert Kiyosaki. He warned that the coming crash would be worse than a recession and might lead to a depression. Let's discover what he means and how to brace yourself for the worst. Understanding recessions and economic crises. Before we leap into this financial whirlwind, let's clarify what a recession is. In economics, a recession is defined as a significant, widespread, and prolonged decline in economic activity. Think of it as a period of economic hibernation where businesses slow down, jobs vanish, and wallets tighten. What does a recession mean? Quite possibly, to you, nothing. To a lot of people, a lot. It means the economy has gone into a challenging position. It means there's certain things occurring with the stock market and other indicators that say we are not in good economic times, but that doesn't have to apply to you in any way, shape, or form. I mean, if you're a giant corporation, it's gonna affect value stock. If you're an employee and you own stock, yes, there's going to be an impact. Generally, a recession occurs when a country's economy experiences two consecutive quarters of negative gross domestic product, GDP. While this definition has become a common standard over the years, it has drawbacks. A focus on GDP alone can oversimplify the complexities of economic dynamics. Several factors influence economic activity including consumer and business confidence, government policies, global trade, and technological advancements, among other factors. A sudden shock to any of these factors can lead to a severe economic downturn, even if the decline in GDP doesn't follow the neat pattern of two consecutive quarters. Economists at the National Bureau of Economic Research NBER, consider several measures to determine when a nation's economy is truly in a recession. They look at employment, income, sales, and industrial production, among other indicators, going far beyond merely back-to-back -back quarters of declining GDP. Recessions aren't strange to us. The world economy has experienced four global recessions over the last seven decades. First, it was the global recession of 1975. This economic crisis was primarily a result of the oil embargo imposed by Arab oil producers against the United States. The steep increase in oil prices led to inflation and economic downturns across many countries. It also showcased the vulnerability of economies heavily reliant on energy sources. Then came the 1982 recession, which stemmed from a combination of factors, including high inflation, high interest rates, and mounting debt levels in major economies. Before the 2007 to 09 recession, the 1982 recession was the worst economic downturn in the US since the Great Depression. The 1991 global recession followed suit. This recession occurred due to the savings and loan crisis in the US, the bubble burst in the Japanese asset markets, and various financial problems in other parts of the world. Japanese are savers. That's why, the, that's why Japan's in trouble. They're not investors. These events reduced consumer spending and investment, resulting in a worldwide economic slowdown. The most recent and memorable global recession occurred in 2009. Originating from the collapse of the subprime mortgage market in the United States, this crisis had far-reaching effects due to the interconnectedness of global financial systems. It exposed weaknesses in risk assessment and financial regulation, prompting a comprehensive re-evaluation of financial practices and international oversight. Each of these episodes of recession led to the contraction of annual real per capita global GDP and the weakening of other crucial indicators of global economic activity. The global recessions were highly synchronized internationally, and had severe financial and economic impacts across different parts of the world. The warning, worse than a recession. Yet, according to Robert Kiyosaki, a recession is nothing compared to what's coming. What's coming is something none of us has seen before. It's something graver, more dramatic than a recession. 
Imagine a full-blown crisis where businesses crumble, investments tumble like dominoes, and life as we know it changes overnight. Man, this scares the hell out of me. But guess what's even scarier? Robert Kiyosaki isn't just an author, but a thought leader in finance and economics. He's a voice we've come to trust. His influence isn't just a flash in the pan. He's been in the financial arena long enough to earn his stripes. When Kiyosaki speaks, people listen. And this time, he's hinting at something bigger than the eye can see. This isn't just a scene from a doomsday movie. The famous author of the best-selling personal finance book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki, has been sounding the alarm bells louder than ever. And then all these companies start borrowing money, so the, so the economy's good, in, you know, unemployment's low and all this. They say there's no inflation, but have you seen the price of food, real estate, and student loans, and medical? It's a bubble, you know? So now what's going to happen is the baby boomers, my generation, are going to start to retire. There's no money there. Social Security is broke. Pensions are broke. Uh, student, the students are broke. You know, we're, they're screwing everybody with debt. Take July last year, for example. The Rich Dad, Poor Dad author warned that inflation could lead to greater depression, pointing to slumping home sales, soaring prices, and droves of workers losing their jobs. He tweeted, warning, inflation may lead to greater depression, real estate crashing, foreclosures up 700% from last year, layoffs starting, dominoes falling. Is your work or company you work for vital to economy? Are you necessary? If you are, you will do well. Take care. The financial guru was referring to U.S. inflation hitting a 40-year high and home sales slowing to a two-year low in June, a spike in foreclosures, and massive layoffs at Microsoft, J.P. Morgan, and other notable employers. He urged employees to gauge whether their jobs were at risk in a downturn. This wasn't the first time Kiyosaki had fired warning shots regarding an impending Great Depression. He tweeted in August 2020, saying, Every 90 years, there is a giant stock market crash followed by a depression. 90 years ago was 1929, followed by Great Depression, lasting 25 years to 1954. Will history repeat? I believe so. Employees will lose jobs. Smart entrepreneurs get rich. Start a business now before the crash. In April 2022, he warned that hyperinflation and depression were coming, forecasting that the US dollar was about to implode. He also reiterated his message in May, bad news, depression coming. In his recent tweet, he warns of a rough landing, stating that a global recession is already here with us after months of raising the alarm concerning the deteriorating global economy. Q. What's worse than a Great Depression, Kiyosaki tweeted on January 28. A. A global recession, he added. The current economic landscape. First, let's look at the global economy before 2023, as that'll help us better understand the telltale signs of what's to come. Up until 2023, the global economy had its ups and downs. The aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic triggered a worldwide recession. But as countries adapted to new realities, several notable trends and events began to shape the economic landscape. The period leading up to 2023 witnessed remarkable shifts in market trends. Fueled by advancements in artificial intelligence and digital transformation, the tech sector reached new heights. Companies that facilitated remote work and online services thrived. Cryptocurrencies gained prominence with debates emerging over their potential to disrupt traditional financial systems. This here is blockchain, Bitcoin. I have Bitcoin. How many Bitcoin do you have? I have a fair amount. Okay, good. So the reason I buy Bitcoin is because it's got integrity. It holds its shape because of, because of blockchain. Meanwhile, travel, hospitality, and traditional retail sectors faced uncertainty due to changing consumer behaviors and persistent travel restrictions. Trade dynamics underwent notable changes. While globalization continued to be a driving force, trade tensions between major economies, for example, US and China trade war 2018 through 20, created ripples in international commerce. Tariff disputes and renegotiations of trade agreements caused shifts in supply chains, 
prompting some countries to reassess their dependencies and seek more self-reliant approaches. This impacted the manufacturing and agriculture industries and affected employment and economic growth. We also witnessed a growing emphasis on environmental and social responsibility. Climate change concerns prompted governments and corporations to invest in renewable energy sources and sustainable practices. Consumers increasingly demanded transparency and ethical practices from businesses, influencing purchasing decisions. This shift towards sustainability reshaped industries and had economic implications, driving innovation and creating new opportunities. However, amid these positive developments, signs of economic instability were evident. First, the global economy grappled with inflationary pressures driven by supply chain disruptions, increased demand for goods, and rising commodity prices. Central banks walked a tightrope between supporting growth and managing inflation. Second, the extensive stimulus measures employed to combat the pandemic-induced recession led to heightened government and corporate debt levels. Though necessary for recovery, the sustainability of this debt raised concerns about potential future economic vulnerabilities. Geopolitical tensions and trade disputes also continued to impact economic outlooks. Diplomatic standoffs and protectionist measures introduced uncertainty that influenced investment decisions and global economic cooperation. Above all, the pandemic accelerated shifts in the labor market, with automation and remote work changing employment patterns. While these shifts contributed to increased efficiency, they also raised questions about job displacement and the need for reskilling the workforce. Kiyosaki's warning, the buildup. Now, let's dive into the nitty gritty. Kiyosaki says soaring bankruptcies, unemployment, and homelessness are telltale signs of a rough landing. And yeah, this makes sense to me. Why? Because soaring bankruptcies can indicate that individuals and businesses struggle to meet their financial obligations. This could suggest declining consumer spending, decreased business activity, and an overall weakening of the economy. As of July 2023, there have been over 230 corporate bankruptcy filings in the U.S. alone. This bankruptcy surge might be an early warning sign of financial turmoil ahead. Unemployment is another red flag for an economy in trouble. Rising unemployment rates can lead to reduced consumer spending. In turn, this affects businesses and creates a cycle of economic slowdown. According to the World Bank, global unemployment is expected to reach 208 million people in 2023, representing an unemployment rate of 5.8%. That's cause for concern. Unemployment can be a sign of deeper economic issues and shouldn't be ignored when assessing the health of an economy. Homelessness is another factor that often accompanies economic downturns, especially severe ones. Over all the years, those slums are spreading across America today. Hmm. America has as many slums as Mumbai does right now. We have homelessness, all that problem. As people lose their jobs, struggle with debt, and face housing affordability challenges, the risk of homelessness increases. An estimated 150 million people worldwide are homeless in 2023. A significant uptick in homelessness can reflect the vulnerability of a society's economic foundation and could indicate economic distress. Kiyosaki's perspective on these signs is rooted in his understanding of economic cycles and the broader financial landscape. He believes that these indicators often precede a major economic downturn. On top of that, several factors are exacerbating the situation. Think about it. Market bubbles expanding like overblown balloons. Unsustainable financial practices weighing us down. Geopolitical tensions adding fuel to the fire. And technological advancements disrupting traditional norms. It's like a perfect storm brewing on the horizon. Imagine these factors intertwining like a tangled web. One tremor could set off a chain reaction and the dominoes would fall. Strategies to prepare, insights from Kiyosaki. But hey, it's not all doom and gloom. Kiyosaki doesn't just leave us hanging on a cliff. He offers insights that could be our lifelines. Kiyosaki's approach to weathering economic turmoil revolves around financial education, adaptability, and strategic thinking. Understanding the underlying principles of money, investing, and economics is crucial. When you're financially literate, you can make informed decisions about your investment strategies. 
helping you avoid being swept away by market exuberance or caught off guard by economic shifts. Adaptability is another crucial aspect worth considering. You should stay flexible and open-minded in your approach to investing. In a rapidly changing world, being able to pivot and adjust your strategies can make a significant difference in navigating through uncertainty. Furthermore, taking calculated risks and capitalizing on opportunities that arise during turmoil is essential. While market downturns and crises can be unsettling, they can also present opportunities to acquire assets at discounted prices or innovate in response to changing norms and technologies. What's more, building multiple income streams and not relying solely on a traditional job or a single investment is vital. Diversification can provide a safety net during economic downturns and help mitigate market volatility's impact. Ultimately, Kiyosaki's insights serve as a call to action for personal empowerment and responsibility. By educating yourself, staying adaptable, taking calculated risks, and embracing financial independence, you can better position yourself to navigate the challenges posed by market bubbles, poor financial practices, geopolitical tensions, and technological disruptions. Instead of being a victim of circumstance, be a proactive agent of your financial destiny. The financial seas might get choppy, of course, but you can navigate these waters with knowledge and readiness. If Kiyosaki's warning resonates with you, hit that like button and share this video. Also, comment below with your thoughts and subscribe for more insightful content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in our next video. Until then, keep thriving.